This week is Public Safety Telecommunications Week. It's when we honor the heroes behind the scenes who work hard to keep us safe, but we typically don't get to see them or meet them. Matt Kroschel joins us live from Vail tonight. Matt, dispatchers, of course, on the front line, often the first to take that call. They do deserve quite a bit of recognition. And Karen, when you call 911 from anywhere in Eagle County, those calls are all routed to the communication center here in Vail. Inside today, we met a dispatcher that's been on the job for nearly a decade and another woman who was on her first day on the job. Communications, this Michelle? When disaster strikes. If you haven't stepped in a dispatch room, you don't really know what goes on behind the scenes. Or get them out there. Dispatchers like Michelle Arnada inside the communication center in Vail. Can I get your name? Usually end up answering dozens of calls for help on the same emergency situation. There's a pretty bad three car accident right now. There's a car on the side of the road um, just hit the. Somebody just got a really bad accident. All these calls are reporting the same crash. We just weed through it and we just keep going. You're just answering them one by one by one. After eight years answering these calls for help. It's a very stereotypical answer, but it's what I wanted to do. I wanted to be able to help people picking up the phone or answering the radio. It gives me a sense of worth. She still loves her job. To actually help somebody who's in need. And you don't even know these people. And she's showing Chelsea Reuter the ropes. It's her first day on the job. So I grew up in a public safety family. Um, my dad was a cop. My mom was a dispatcher. So it's always been something that I've kind of been around. Important training as the phones keep ringing. <laughs> doing something that I can help people with and know that I'm trying to make a difference and doing the best I can to help them. An important calling these two women now share. We're here to help you. Last year alone here in Vail, they answered nearly 123,000 individual calls for help at that center. So really great work that they're doing there behind the scenes. We're live in Vail, Matt Kroschel covering Colorado First.